Welcome back, my friends. I'm going to be eating neem leaves for the first time out of a branch, out of a tree. It doesn't get more fresh than this. I was driving with my taxi driver and I said to him, to my friend, hey, tell him to, I uh, want some neem leaves. And literally in the next 30 seconds, we stopped. My friend got out, plucked some leaves, and there you go, okay? Shout out to you, GJ. So I'm going to eat these neem leaves for the first time. I've been given some neem leaves at the yoga, uh, Isha Yoga Center, um, but it's not as fresh as this, and it's not of the same potency as this because this is my own. So I'm going to taste this. And neem has many possibilities and potentials. It's uh, very, 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 very healthy. It's, one, it's literally the most healthiest plant that I've ever come across in nature. Uh, you know, I haven't been, to, uh, I haven't seen billions of plants, but nonetheless. And the fact that when I taste it, every single time I leave a temple in the yoga center, specifically, more specifically, the uh, Adiyogi temple, they uh, give me a neem leaf, just one, and I taste it and I can't get enough of it because the potency of it and the potential that it has, the possibilities that it has are many. So I'm going to taste it and um, talk, talk more about it. What else to say? Wow. Next. That was so rewarding. It's the most spiritual plant by far that I've seen, that I've come across. And no wonder why Indian people revere it so highly. It's considered as Shiva's leaf. It's like I'm intoxicated. It's like I'm drunk now or high on some substance. But actually I'm high off of a leaf, <coughs> a natural leaf, non-psychoactive uh, leaf. It feels great. It feels like my system has been stimulated, but not in, an, in a way that's... I wonder if neem leaf is a stimulant, a nervous stimulant. I don't, I don't think so, but definitely my system has been stimulated in a very positive and potent way. My vision is sharper and clearer. My perception has changed, more attuned with life. And in fact, the actual tree itself is so alive. It's so energetic. It's just the vibrancy that it has it's uh, unbelievable. No wonder also why literally every single home in South India was well, going away now, but there was a time that no home was without a neem tree. 
And if I had a home, I would plant 20, 50 of these or more because the life that it has, the life that it gives out, you can make use of that. It has great potential and possibilities. So, you know, when you live like this, Yes. This is such a wonderful spiritual plant. I want to show you something. One second. You know, some people may watch my videos or these videos and they may say to themselves and they do say to them to the to themselves that, oh, this guy, uh, he's so, he believes things or this or that or it's just his imagination. This I believe in, okay? I believe in this. What is this? This is a neem. I also have the same capsule uh, with turmeric. Okay, I'm not going to show you exactly the same, but turmeric. This is neem and it's in a capsule, okay? So this is the capsules here. I believe in this. You know why? Because Sadhguru said, and I purchase this and I'm eating this every day. And I don't notice the difference when I first drink it. It's like maybe a little bit, a, a tiny bit. And as I was thinking about this, because I wanted to make this video and I uh, wanted to eat this and see what the benefits are. The benefits are immense when I eat it in the yoga center. And today we had the most darkest color neem leaf that I've ever seen. And my friend GJ, he ate it and he's like, oh, this is too bitter. I knew it was going to be good. And I put it in my mouth and the, the flavor and the intense explosion in my mouth, as soon as I chomped uh, down on it, the life that was released, the prana that was released. Oh my God, that's just a phenomenal possibility for spiritual growth and attainment. So I directly know from my own inner experience, the power and value of this. This, I don't really know. It's in a capsule, it's been uh, processed and whatever, okay? I still take it every single day. Why? Because I believe in it. I believe in Sadhguru's words. And in fact, as I was examining, what is this doing? It's it's cleansing my system. It, it's doing the cleansing process for sure, uh, but not as powerfully as this. This is like, you you can't imagine how how powerful this is. When you taste this for the first time, you'll understand for yourself. Um, this on the other hand, after the next, after a few days, I'm noticing, okay, my system feels a little bit more loose, a little bit more cleansed, and a little bit more fluid, but just a little bit, okay, not much. So if I were to eat raw neem and raw turmeric every single day, oh my God, that would be phenomenal. So I'm definitely going to introduce this to my diet. I have this leaf with me, and I'm going to eat this um, until this is all gone. And there's an abundance of leaf trees, leaves. There's an there's no shortage of neem trees in uh, here in Coimbatore. Pretty much every single house has it, so I can always uh, acquire some. And as well as honey, I'm going to do, introduce honey to my life as well. As I was climbing Vlangri Hills, this is a little bonus for this video. As I was climbing Vlangri Hills, I realized the pot potency and power and significance of honey, because honey is nature's. It's honey, okay? It's nature's honey which is honey. So, uh, and the fact that honey, what it does to me, what it does to the human system, if you're a human being, you should be consuming honey, raw, natural honey, not, not uh, pasteurized or not heated. Uh, because as you do this, your system becomes so lubricated and naturally you become happier. So that's what I want. I want to consume more honey. I'm going to, again, introduce this to my life. I have the neem and turmeric capsules, but it's not enough. It's not sufficient. It's not a life-changing result. This is life-changing results.